Hey, what's going on, party people? Welcome back to the Farewell Party channel. Today we're uh, saddling up for another Outlaws of Thunder Junction draft. Let's just jump right into it. Uh, first off, want to just want to say thank you to everybody who's supported so far. You know, I've got families and friends. Uh, uh, just thank you for liking and commenting, subscribing. Uh, early in the morning, first draft of the day. Let's do this thing. Let's rock and roll, boys and girls. So what do we have up first? Bibblethip is kind of cool. It's a lot... Uh, it's a lot for a first pick, you know? It's got two blue pips. It's just a 1-1. One -one. I don't know. It might be fun to play around with. Voidrend is cool, but I don't think I want to do a three-color first pick here. Omaport Vigilante is not bad. I don't think it's really first pick material, though. Longhorn Sharpshooter is really good. I think that's going to be the, the pick as far as right now goes. Rise of the Varmints is kind of a fun build around, so that might be fun. Ah, man, that's kind of risky first pick, though. Boy, pretty, pretty rough first pack, all things considered. I think it might just be the Sharpshooter here. Yeah, let's go with it. Not into Shifting Grift. Murder is cool, but it's got the two black pips and I'm in red right now. Skewer of the Critics is kind of cool. For red strategies. Vault Plunderer is really good. I might just go black red that, that route again. Nothing else looks too terribly interesting. Um, the white blue looks, the Wrangler of the Damned here looks cool, but just way out of my colors right now. Take the Fall is also really good. Uh, I think it kind of comes down to do I want to try and go for Is It Like Yesterday or do I want to go for Rakdos again? I think Paul, Vault Plunder is probably just a little bit better than Take the Fall because you get the body and draw a card. Whoa. Notion Thief. An opponent would draw a card except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps. Instead, that player skips that draw and you draw a card. Uh, probably too narrow for limited. Prairie Dog is awesome. Essence Capture, probably not what we're going for. Nizumi Link Breaker is good, or decent in the Rakdos deck. Prickly Pear is really good. I'd like to try out the White Arc type, but Prickly Pear and Longhorn Sharpshooter are just really premium red cards. So I might as well just double down on a red strategy for right now and kind of leave a second color open. Outlaw Stitcher is really good. A second Prickly Pear. Dance of the Tumbleweeds. That's kind of the, the bell of the ball right now. Everybody's speculating on that card. Um... I mean, I'd really like to play with it. Would it be good in a red strategy? Probably... Probably not. Uh, I think I'm just going to do another Prickly Pear here. Skullduggery is also pretty good. I guess I do have three three drops already. Maybe... Boy, that's tough. I think... I think just another Prickly Pear is just too good. To pass up here. Fairly weak pack, all things considered, I think. Metamorphic Blast, not really into. Mystical Tether is probably the best card in the pack. What does this do? Yeah, I think I think Desecrator is too slow. Not super thrilled about a Black Snag Buzzard. Yeah, I'll take a flyer on Mystical Tether. Not really sure what the Boro strategy is here, though. Uh, Reckless Lackey is going to be a good one drop for our deck, I think. Vengeful Townsfolk is probably the only other card that I would really think about taking. Well, Rattleback Apocalypse. Apothecary is not bad either. 
can give stuff, menace, or lifelink if you're committing crimes. Um, yeah, I think I'd probably just rather have Reckless Lackey, because it's just another 3-drop in our endless sea of 3-drops right now. It also just keeps us in red for the time being still. Uh, awkward pack a little bit. Highway robbery, probably not super great in the, um, the Rakdos deck, but maybe, maybe it's all right. Yeah, I'll keep it. Quick draw is an all right combat trick. Uh, nothing really else in this pack that really screams out. So we're definitely red. We're still kind of battling out to see what other cards are going to be good enough. I don't hate Overzealous Muscle as like a top end, just because the, the format seems pretty slow. I uh, need to have bigger things. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take the murder for now. It's a way to commit a crime. And an Izumi Link Breaker. I think we might have just kind of confirmed that we're going to do Black Red again. Oh, and a Skullduggery came back. That's cool. So not a, not a horrible first pack. We got some premium commons and uncommons here. Got premium removal. Uh, the Yeah, the three drops are just looking extra good right now. And we've got seven outlaws, so that's just looking pretty good right now. And technically it's going to be nine because Prickly Pear makes one. And a last pick, Silver Deputy, probably not going to play. <laughs> this is like a just a total replay of the very first draft we did because we got Dust Animus now. Really, really good card. And once again, not a whole lot here for us. Uh, Lively Dirge is a decent one to take a flyer on. Maybe not super great for our strategy, but it, it might be worth trying. I'd really like Dust Animus, but... Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should just go Dust Animus again. Am I going to get baited into Dust Animus once again? I mean, it's just a better card than Lively Dirge. Yeah, why not? I'll keep it. Abrupt Decay, that's kind of fun. Not playing green, though. Desert's Dew is probably going to be the pick. That's really good. Obeka, just kind of unplayable. Jim Lightfoot, awesome card, but we're not in those colors. Outlaw Medic, not really for us. Make Your Own Death is also kind of interesting. Might want to see if we can wheel that. Uh, Dead Eye Duelist would be good to commit crimes later on. Uh, with two in the pack, it's pretty likely that we'll wheel it. Uh, but I think Desert's Dew is just really nice. Um, we'd, we'd like to get some on-color deserts at some point, though. Not on the crossfire, deals two damage to each outlaw or non-outlaw. I'm not super into that. Corrupted Conviction. No, not really for us. I like the Wolverine, but I don't know if it's for this deck particularly. Another Desert's do is pretty good. Just another way to commit a crime. Got eight creatures to five non-creatures. I think I'm good with that pick. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jasper Flint, really good. So creatures you control but don't own are mercenaries in addition to their other types. Beginning of your upkeep, exile the top 
X cards of your target opponent's library, where X is the number of outlaws you control. And as you saw at the end of pack one, we already have a lot of outlaws. And until the end of turn, you can cast spells from among these cards, and mana of any type can be used to cast it. So that is definitely going to be our card. Uh, if you know, if red and or black red tend to be open and we get explosive derailment coming back, that'd be awesome. But I mean it's gotta be Jasper Flint. That's exciting. <laughs> Third Desert's do. I kinda like the ambush gigapede with how slow the format's going so far. I think I'd probably prefer that over a third desert's do. Nothing else in the in the pack is really interesting. Whoever is drafting blue white is getting a really cool deck because they've now got two gym light foots that I've passed. Uh, Razzle Dazzler is also really good, but not for us. All right, Geyser Drake is good, but not for us. Dance of the Tumbleweeds also really good. So the only thing really worth taking here is the semi uncolor desert here that turns on our deserts do. So I think I think that's a solid pick. I'm I'm okay with that. Oh wow. That's a late pick prickly pear. Yeah, yeah, why not? I'll take that. I'll take a third prickly pear. That's cool. Hmm. Uh, fake your own death. Till end of turn, target creature gets plus two plus zero oh and gains when this creature dies. Return to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. And you create a treasure token. I think that'd be a pretty good combo with the uh, ambush gigapede, or just really any big. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, too too slow on the quick draw there. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll take the dead eye duelist that came back around. Okay, cool. Not totally punished. Fake Your Own Death is back. Would I rather have that or a second Deadeye Duelist? This is kind of cool to just kind of pop off with Outlaw Synergies. But I kind of want to see how Fake Your Own Death plays out. So we'll try that. I'll take the Wolverine, but I don't know if we'll play it in this deck. It kind of depends on what playables we get. Last pick Highway Robber is actually not horrible. A great Train Heist. Okay, cool. Hell the Mighty, probably not for us. Cunning Coyote is good. Probably not for us. Earth of Joe's awesome, but we're not in red white. Mystical Tether also good, but we're not in red white. It's another Vault Plunderer. Ball Plunderer is really good. Is Great Train Heist just the better card here? I think I'd probably want more Outlaws, right? Uh, we've, we've tried the Great Train Heist. It was all right. Skullduggery is really good pickup here. Uh, pretty, pretty mediocre for the rest of the pack, to be honest. Lone Shark, Outlaw Medic, uh, Giant Beaver, they're all fine. Um, Lazav is good. Another Skullduggery? Okay. Yeah, I mean, if we've got a pretty low curve with... A bunch of just kind of value creatures. We're going to want a lot of good combat tricks, I think. So I think a third Skullduggery is totally fine here. No Desert that I'd rather pick. And Trick Shot is just, I think, too expensive for dealing six damage. It's just a much better value to commit a crime for one mana than five. So I'm, I'm good with that. Skewer the Critics is pretty good. I think that might be the one... 
that we take here. Take up the shields is an awesome combat trick, but I don't think we're going to play white, unfortunately. If we do get like a... Oh, okay. Uh, asking you shall receive. Just got to read the rest of the pack. An on-color desert that we can play Dust Animus for. I think it's probably worth splashing just straight up. So, yeah, I'll take the land. I think it's better than Skewer the Critics, probably. Just for what it opens up here. Lively Dirge would be good with Dust Animus. Uh, in the late game, like if I have enough. I mean, it's just a, just a good card in general, but... Uh, nothing else really is super interesting here. Trick shot, no. Another kind of on color desert. We'll try Lively Dirge here. Not a whole lot for us here. Requisition Raid, no. Thunder Lasso is kind of a cool card, but not for us. Yeah, I'll take a Quill Charger, but I don't think I'm going to play it. Finding negotiation, kind of a cheap way to to do some discard and um, committing crimes. Another semi on color. I mean, yeah, I think I think black white is is good. Uh, we can definitely play Dust Animus now. Uh, second ambush gigapede, probably not going to play, but. Kind of a weak pack otherwise. Can we can we sneak in an Earth of Joe? Probably not, right? Oh, it'd be fun though. We get a, we get additional triggers. The target I mean, whenever we commit a crime, we commit twice as many crimes. And we don't have a four drop, so you know what? Let's try it. We've got enough. I mean, we've got two splash splashable cards or deserts already. We'll try it out. Why not? Sounds fun. I'll take the trick shot. Probably not going to play it. I'll take another Dead Eye Duelist. So Dead Eye Duelist, whenever they ping, they'll ping for two if I have Earth of Joe on board. So that's pretty sick. So what, what does Earth of Joe affect here? Whenever you activate an ability that targets a creature or player copy that ability, you may choose new targets for the copy. So Skullduggery is cool now. Quick draw, probably not. Uh, doesn't really interact. Deserts do will interact well. A Dead Eye Duelist, as we already talked about, is going to be cool. Hmm. I think I just want to keep the one dust animus. The well, what do I want to get rid of if I'm not? Uh, do I really need a plane? Yeah, I probably do, do want to just keep one planes open. I think Highway Robbery is not great in this deck. Quick draw not super thrilled with, so I think that might be the one that gets cut. What do we have coming back with Lively Dirge? So we could... 
Uh, <laughs> bring back Jasper Flint. That's awesome. Any of the prickly pears are good. Uh, Longhorn's not as great because you kind of want to get the two damage in. Vault Plunder would be good. Dust Animus, not great unless it's late game. So 15 creatures to 9 non-creatures. How many ways to commit crimes? So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Yeah, I think okay, so got to got to get one more card out of here. Yeah, I think it's just a quick draw here. I'm not unhappy with this deck. Uh let's get into some gameplay here. Doing Rakdos splash in for the Dust Animus once again. That's kind of weird to to be doing that two times in the first 3 days. Already got the white. Uh, yeah, not a not a bad spot to be in. Ooh, we can lively dirge. Two, three, four, five. On turn five, we can get uh, Jasper Flynn out here. Play the Link Breaker. Turn one. We don't really have a turn two play. I feel pretty comfortable just playing the Forlorn Flats next turn. I'm going to attack in. Probably want to keep the Skullduggery till we can get some uh, outlaw triggers off of it, or committing crime triggers by the outlaws. Yep. Is the ankle biter gonna be worth murdering? Probably not. We'll just keep attacking with our one ones here. So we will have enough mana to do this on turn five, which is cool. Oh, they've got their own Jasper Flint. Cool. Uh, we're gonna snap murder that. And we're going to make them have their own kill spell for ours. Boy, not a lot of action going on here in the first couple turns here. I like the new western music they've added. This is cool. Very atmospheric. It is kind of an awkward stat line. Oh, and we got the... We drew the Jasper Flint just straight up. Okay. So let me just read this card real quick before I play it. Creatures you control but don't own mercenaries in addition to their other types. So that means we steal stuff from them. Beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X cards where X is the number of outlaws you control. So that'll be two next turn. End of turn, I'm going to cast those. Yeah, that's just cool. The next turn, we can get like a 1-drop and a 3-drop. Or, yeah, okay. Yeah. Opponent's probably mad that I've got my own Laughing Jasper Flint now. They probably got their own removal. Boy, kind of tough to have just this action for the first couple of turns. Iron 
with this pulverizer. Opponent has kind of a strange deck going on, but he did just kind of take big creatures, which is going to work out fairly well. Hmm. So they didn't saddle the Quill Charger. Do I want a Skullduggery now and kill the Quill Charger? I think I'd probably rather wait to see if I can get the Iron Fist Pulverizer. Well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to block here. Oh, well, yeah. No, I should probably just block with the Link Breaker because I get the 1-1 one, one back. Ooh, okay. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it deals damage. Oh, weird. I don't think I'm super into either of these cards, to be honest. So should I just create two more bodies, or should I do the Lively Dirge? Okay, so we've got the Link Breaker in. So we can get like a... What is it? The Vault Whisperer? and the Link Breaker back at the same time. That'd be pretty good, I think. Or Vault Plunderer, my bad. Or do I just want a bunch of Prickly Pear? Oh, that'd be actually cool, because then we get three bodies. That's actually so sick. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. That's awesome. So now we got five coming in here. Probably should have pumped the Jasper Flint. Oh well. So ankle biker, ankle biter is probably gonna block there. Oh yeah, I didn't really think that they would double sp or double block, but. So what's the option here? Hmm. I think I probably misplayed. I'll give plus one, plus one, and then the minus one, minus one there. But I do kill both of those, so I feel alright about it. Yeah, probably a misplay. I should have... Uh... Well, I... Yeah, I should have... I should have pumped with the... the mercenary. And then I should have skullduggeried the death toucher. And I think I would have came out on top there. Well, that may have just lost me the game. <laughs> hey, it's early, all right. Yeah, I'll just block there. Um, oh, he's got Minus. Uh, don't care. Five damage is a lot, but... Hmm. Yeah, that's just gonna be awesome, right? Desert's do right now. What does he get? One, two, so probably one of Desert's do right now. It down to 13. Got a much larger board, but we are in top deck mode now. So not not feeling super hot, but we can pump a lot of things. Another quill charger, okay. And a top deck lane. Should I just pump up a huge prickly pear and make them block? Or just kind of force them to block both of these? I think that's fair.
Either way, I'm killing two of their things. Oh. I think that's a perfectly fine trade-off. Because now we've got still four of the mercenaries that can pump each other. Wolverine's a little scary. It's scary to see into an ankle biter. Okay. Hmm. Just attack with everything. See what happens. Yeah, why not? We're in kind of a weird stage of the game, huh? It kind of seems like they're going to be in a position to have better top decks than me, unless I get, or somehow get, uh, Dust Animus off the top. So we get to kill the Wolverine here, unless they've got a three mana whatever spell. Not terribly unhappy with that interaction. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the hits keep coming. Green is just kind of a beating, huh? And a top deck land. Okay. That's alright. I guess we're just passing and chump blocking, see what we can get off the top. It's kind of just dust animus or bust at this point, I think. Uh, the Gigapede's also not horrible here. Yeah. Block. Alright, I have seen enough. Starting off with a little bit of flood. Just like the storms we're about to get down here in Missouri this afternoon. Well, game one, not the best showing ever. Um, maybe I do need some more late game hitters. Skullduggery was pretty good in that match. Uh, Link Breaker getting back off the Lively Dirge actually was pretty cool. Do I really need three lock picker or prickly pears? Desert's Dew was not bad there. You know what? We're just going to play one more game until we feel like we need to make any changes. On the play with Jasper Flint in hand on turn three. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll probably want to play Prickly Pear first so we can get three last me, la uh, three of the outlaw triggers off and last laughing Jasper Flint. Boy, he's kind of tough to say, huh? Ambush Gigapede. Not super great in opening hand, but not horrible. Pretty good to set up late game. Swamp. Black white opponent, possibly. Or they could be playing like the, the five color deserts deck or just anything, to be honest. So do I just want to get out the laughing Jasper Flint or do I kind of want to provoke a removal spell with a prickly pear? Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know if prickly pear is good enough to warrant a removal spell, but it's worth a try. Or they'll just play inventive wingsmith. Okay. Missing our land drop. So. Hmm. Do we just want a wider board if we're missing land drops, or do we want Laughing Jasper Flint to try and get value? I think we just put in Laughing Jasper Flint and kind of force him to have removal. Because right now it swings over the Inventive Wingsmith. They're touching my cards, so I think they might have a removal spell. Yep. Kind of figured that was the case. 
Uh, now Lively Dirge is going to be a good draw if we get him back. Yeah, the more I think about it, I think Lively Dirge is just a really good card. Still missing land drops. Um, not great. So I think I'll attack in with a Prickly Pear here and bait out a Skullduggery. They're tapped out, so they can't have a combat trick. Wait, why didn't... Why did this attack over the Wingsmith? I'm confused. Somebody in the comments, uh, please tell me why that happened. And we're still missing a land drop. Okay, we just gotta slam the Vault Plunder and hopefully we get a land. <laughs> still not a land, okay. So it's the exact opposite problem now. Um, yeah, we'll just stay back, I think. Kind of a rough start here. We can't even play murder right now because we don't have double black. Just a plethora of unplayables right now. Desert's Dew is not even good. Where the heck are our lands, man? Three lands off the top 14 cards, so we're going to be... Yeah, that's pretty rough. Uh, I think another prickly pair. Just to make them scared of the board, I guess. Do I want to present enough damage to kill the wingsmith? Do I want to attack here? What do they do if they don't block? So they'll go down to 12. They'll hit on the... I've got two decent blockers on the ground, so I think I'm good to attack here because they've got the the 2-4 flyer. I kind of want to outrace that. Or that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it was going to come out at some point, so not... Not too upset about that. Boy, kind of a kind of a rough start to the day here, huh? The heck are they gonna take? I got a full grip of the stuff. What do you what do you want from me, man? Oh, and he's probably going to pump the Inventive Wingsmith, so he's just going to have a 3-5 three, three, flyer. If they take the Dust Animus, I'm kind of fine with that, because at this point, when are we going to see a white? Oh, they took Murder. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Still not a land. What do we have? Okay. Oh, wait. Jasper Flint was exiled. That's horrible for us. Okay. Well, they see the deserts do, so I might as well just kill... What? Probably that. Key keeper. And... Yeah, I think we just keep attacking here. If they block, that's fine. Yeah. They've got a pretty cool black-white deck going on. Good for them, bad for us.
So we've got 14 lands on the top, or the rest of the 25 cards in our deck. And a Bounding Felidar. Wow. And it's a Plains. Okay. Um, what can we bring back here? It's just a Vault Ponder or Prickly Pear. I don't think that's good enough right now. Should we just... What happens if we do the Dust Animus? If we get it to 4-5... It's still not good enough to beat the Inventive Wingsmith, but we've got two Skullduggeries. Yeah, I think we've got a... Do we play it? If it's a 2-3, it can go up to a 3-4, four, 4-5. Four, I think we just need to play the Dust Animus. Oh, man, but, but we want the life counter, so I've bought it. Let's see if we can live another turn. We can do some Skullduggery shenanigans to kind of keep us alive, I guess. And if worst case scenario comes to pass, we can chump block with a Mercenary. If we get a land off the top, then Dust Animus is really good. If we don't, we probably lose. We probably lose anyway, but I'm having a good time. What does he do? He puts a 1-1 one, one counter on everything. And they get a life for it? Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, chump block. And so what? What happens next turn? Do I just... I think I lose if I don't get another card. So, what happens here? <coughs> so, Dust Animus becomes a 4-5. It'll become a 5-6. Inventive Wingsmith will go down to a 3-5. But it'll go back up to a 4-6. So it doesn't die next turn due to the Bounding Felidar's ability. One, two, three, four. Lively Dirge to bring back just a blocker. Oh, no, don't want to do that. So I think the, the move here is going to be Prickly Pear because I don't want to, weirdly enough, I don't want to lose a life off the Vault Plunger. And I think we pass here. Hopefully we don't die. I mean, I think we put ourselves in the best position possible, and I think it's still probably not going to be enough. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, that's going to do it there. Really cool black-white deck. I haven't seen really much strategies in the black-white realm. Alright, so <laughs> backs against the wall already. Down 0-2. So I think we do need to make some changes here. Haven't seen Overzealous Muscle. Um, what do we want, though? Do we want... Maybe we want some more card draw? Just big, beefy boys, I guess, maybe? More removal? Hmm. Maybe less Dead Eye Duelist. Bring in Trick Shot. So what's what's really killing us right now? It's the it's the late game, like big stuff. So, I think adding in one one big kind of kill spell here, I think is maybe gonna help us. We'll see. I mean, back's against the wall. Let's go for it. Kind of a rough way to, to start day three here, but that's okay. I 
I'm still having fun with the format. This is really cool. I mean, it's a, just an awesome format. I'm super excited to play more with it. I think I might force myself to get out of the Rakdos archetype because I either I don't know how to draft it or I don't know how to play it. <laughs> or it's just not super suit, super well suited for this format. I think I might just force myself to go green next drafts, to be honest. We'll play the bluffs turn one. Because that'll make Desert's Dew already pretty good. For turn two, in case we need to use it. Maybe we shouldn't have taken this. Because it's only all spells, no creatures. And you know what? Maybe maybe we should start kind of just holding up removal for later the, later in the game. Maybe Trick Shot is, actually isn't too bad, just because it kind of forces you to play it later. So probably wanted to get off to a more aggro start if we were going to be going first, but Vault Plunder kind of helped us smooth out our draw. I mean, this was a really good top deck. Yeah, I don't think I'm... <laughs> Desert's Dew is probably not worth killing the Dead Eye Duelist there. Oh, Plunder. Thank you. True land. We're gonna get flooded again. Rossification, interesting. Yeah, sure. Dead Eye Duelist is huge. That's funny. Do I care about that? No, I think I'd rather have my own three damage here. Oh. Okay, so Overzealous Muscle is actually decent here, I think. Next turn, we'll be able to play the big guy. And opponent is on three lands, maybe going to play their fourth here. If they're doing the like small ball here, I think I'm in a decent position... Um, but Black Red is going to have a lot of really good removal spells. Much like we do. Is Roadrunner worth killing? Yeah, I think it probably is, right? Do I want to get the full Dead Eye Duelist value? What does Roadrunner do? Can't be blocked. So that's that actually is a little scary, so I think I will kill the Roadrunner here. The duelists, I'm not I'm still not super concerned about. If anything, we can fake our own death. So back to back overzealous muscle would be kinda cool. And they were stuck on three three life or three mana there. But now they've got their fourth. Yep. Kinda saw that one coming. If I had to guess they might have another removal spell in hand. Ooh, sharpshooter is kind of tough here because they've got the they got three uh, toughness. Ooh, that'd be awkward, but we could do skullduggery into kill spell plotting. That's actually kind of a neat interaction. Why not? Because then we'll get in for four this turn. And we get to plot and kill Dead Eye Duelist. I think that was fine, yeah. I mean he niced me, so maybe maybe it was a bad move. Usually whenever people nice me and it's not like clearly a good play, it's probably pretty bad. We'll see. Oh, okay. So we will. Overzealous Muscle. And we will Sharpshooter. Do we put the pressure on them? I don't think so, because then we can just fake our own death next turn. for With whatever they want to block and kill. Probably the Vault Plunder. But I am presenting Lethal next turn. So, they gotta do something. 
could do fake your own death or trick shot. Trick shot next turn just kills the buzzard and the token, so that's probably that's probably the move. Yeah, if they can't do anything about that, we get our first win of the day. Yeah, sure. Okay, so they, they will be able to block once. Hmm. So do I want to... What do I want to do here? Do I want to... Yeah, I think it's probably just kill the, the buzzard and one of the tokens. So overzealous muscles now indestructible for the turn. They gain a life, we lose one. Maybe should have kept back the Vault Plunderer, but that, you know, they're probably going to want to block the 5-4. The well, kind of depends. Tough decision for opponent, for sure. So if they block the Vault Plunder, oh, they take nothing? They just lose? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I wasn't really expecting that, but totally okay with it. We got our victory. Let's go. So the, the five mana uh, kill spell actually wasn't too bad for us there. Let's get back in. Still backs up against the wall here. Pretty awkward opening hand. Still a lot of red. Um, there's absolutely nothing to do after turn two, so I think we got a mulligan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll keep. Probably just the unplayable card for right now. Yeah. So, not starting off too hot, it doesn't look like. We did get a black, so we can play Prickly Pear on curve, so... Not horrible. Our Bristle Band is pretty good. Another land off the top, that's feeling a little bit better. More green shenanigans. I I just am not a big fan of the Rakdos archetype against the, the green cards here. Doc Arlock is cool. And we got the planes. Punish for sending Animus back. That's okay. Uh, we can play the overzealous muscle next turn. Uh, set up a fake your own death probably. Try and kill the Doc Arlock. Yeah, they weren't gonna bite. Maybe I should have kept the prickly pear to block the the Doc here. Block no. Yeah, pretty good. So they playing like Teamer here then? Or black? <laughs> what the heck are they playing? This is sweet. Are they just playing four color, like four or five color good stuff here? I want to do that. I kind of want to do that. Hmm. So now we can't stop drawing the overzealous muscle, which is kind of funny. Uh, trick shot, not great right now. I think we will attempt to attack with a prickly pair. 
If they want to block, that's perfectly fine, I think. Oh, we will get Prickly Pear and another Mercenary back. So that's that's kind of a cool synergy. I'm into that. And we killed their card. Yeah, I like that. That's not a bad interaction. I don't care enough about two damage to block. Be really sweet if we got Jasper Flint. But now they got a full grip of stuff. Man, this is a greedy deck. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah, it's the muscle. Make the prickly pear huge. I mean, four damage is a beating. Yeah, I don't want to waste a treasure token on the Reckless Lackey. It's especially dumb if I do it now, because it's the second main phase. Won't get to take up the first strike in haste really all that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Do they have four, five, six? So if they don't play a land... Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that... Woof. One other target creature token. Okay. Dang. So can we possibly force... They block? Yeah, that'd be good. So showing 9 damage here kind of in some ways, kind of forces them to block. And they will. So now we can... So Prickly Pear dies no matter what. Oh man, I wish the Overzealous Muscle would have... Would have been the one that got blocked by the the boar here. Dang. That's tough. So, trick shot. Submit zero. So, the only, <laughs> the only way this can go wrong now is if they've got removal, more card draw, more Dance of the Tumbleweeds. Could be scary, folks. Yeah. Good news is, we do have more big guys coming in. The three toughness is rough for the Gigapede here. What they plot? Rise of the Varmints, okay. One, two, three. What do we want to do here? Hmm. Probably go ahead and play the overzealous muscle and I think I think we just want to start putting the pressure on and attack in with the restless lackey they go down to nine and now down to eight This will be all right for the Rise of the Varmints, I think. Or they just play Wolverine. Okay. Oh boy. Big, big turn coming up. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's having so much more fun than I am. <laughs> Dang, man. That's sick. So... 
I think we still kind of have to attack with the overzealous muscle. Ooh. Okay, so overzealous muscle get indestructible if we attack here. And flash in the ambush gigapede to probably minus two, minus two, the wolverine, I think. Yeah, I think that's kind of sick. Yeah, for sure. Wolverine. So we killed three of their creatures. That feels pretty good. Now we're in top decking mode again, though. Maybe we could have used some card draw on this deck. I don't think I want to actually attack with the Ambush Gigapede, to be honest. Hmm. I think attack? Yeah. Man, once again, probably should have used the Mercenaries again. Pump spell. Yeah. Probably should have seen that one coming. I will sacrifice a lackey to see what we get here. Yep. So, yeah, I think I'm just not a very good pilot for this deck, to be honest. I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn, guys. Hey, what did I say on day one? I'm not very good at this game. I'm trying. I'm learning. I'm learning that these guys are really good, and I should use them more. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well. That's fun. Don't really want to ping with a Deadeye Duelist, because it's just kind of an efficient blocker against the, the Windmill Slam of the Tin Tin. Not Tin Tin, one ones for ten of them. Goodness. So maybe we'll get something cool off of Jasper Flint here. Make your own luck is is really cool. Um, play the bluffs here. I think we need the card draw. I mean, this is a good removal spell, but at this point in the game, I think we just we need more cards. Oh well, this does kill the Cactarantula and one of their guys. Boy, it's tough. Um, yeah, I think we play the trick shot. We get really punished if, uh... Oh, and they gain a life whenever those die. Boy, that's rough. Hmm. No attacks. So they, they are down to seven, which kind of matters here. They... I feel like they kind of have to attack here. Because we're just stealing all their stuff. Another Cactarantula, yep. They're drawing cards, okay. Wait. Hold up. Wait. I'm going to mill them out next turn. Do they know that? I don't think they know that. Unless they kill my stuff. Yeah. Yeah, gaining life. I mean, we're not we're not playing for life anymore here. <laughs> so, I need to keep my things. How do I do that? 
Got one card in hand. What are the odds that it's a removal spell? No matter what, I'm not going to block with Jasper Flint because he needs to live. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, well, probably want to kill that. 9, 10, 11. So Ambush Gigapede is not an outlaw, so I don't care about blocking the Doc Arlock here. Take 9. So they're, I mean, they're at 5, and Jasper Flint's at 5, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's... <laughs> we milled somebody out with Rakdos. <laughs> that is so sick. Okay. Greedy deck got too greedy, I guess. Okay, are we having fun now, guys? Are we having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. We're two wins. Can we get to three to be 500 on the day? Please. Masking nicely. And you know what? We had a horrible hand last game, and we still made it through. Wow, two of our three <laughs> white uh, white lands here. I actually think this is a fine hand. Uh, we really need red, but we've got probably our turn three play here anyway. We've got turn one, which is good for tempo. No turn two, so we can play the four Larn flats turn two. Uh, don't foresee doing anything with Desert to do this turn. So probably just want to get the Desert down. So now Desert Dew is on for three. We can play Vault Plunder next turn. Raven's pretty good. We we'll play Vault Plunder. <laughs> Still looking for that red. But now we can play Overzealous Muscle on turn 5. Are they going to do like an Esper Committing Crimes deck? Kind of a more control, slow matchup? Yeah, I think I just kind of need to reposition my thinking on this format, maybe. Ooh. That's pretty good. So the next turn, will I want to play the Overzealous Muscle or the Prickly Pear? Probably the Muscle. And I'll attack with a Link Breaker and then keep up a Desert's Dew, because now it gets four. So if they play something big here, that'd be good. I think they got a full grip of... Removal spells or counters or whatever. They're they're looking at the link breaker, but I doubt that it's worth killing because you just get get a guy back. Geyser Drake's pretty good. I think I probably just want to go ahead and deserts do that. I mean, it just it makes everything else in their hand really good. Another vault plunderer. Hmm. So next turn we can double spell Prickly Pear and Vault Plunder, so let's just go ahead and present a, a big boy. So now, now that probably will bait out some kind of removal. That's kind of what this format feels like so far, just try and beat out some, or bait out some big removal spells so you can play your own stuff again. So Caustic Bronco is cool, but we kind of outclass it right now. Oh, wow. Hmm. So, I think I just want to do Vault Plunder, see what card I get, and then play a pr Prickly Pear. Gotta be happy with how the game's going so far. Ooh. So that'll be good to plot next turn. with the muscle.
Yeah. Yeah, I kind of expected something like that. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. As long as it's not totally dead, I feel like I'm still kind of in this game. We are already down to 13, kind of out of nowhere, which is funny. Uh, I think I'll block with the prickly pair. Kind of a bizarre move there. I guess I just really wanted the, the card off of Caustic Bronco here. So we're going to plot to kill the Raven here. Which will keep up a desert to do next turn to kill something semi-big. And they're not sticking anymore, so nothing that's mono blue can hurt us right now. Uh, no, this town ain't big enough again. Or I guess they, they could have, because they, uh, they only had three mana up and they didn't have a creature, so it would have cost five mana next or last turn. Morning Surprise brought back the Bronco. They don't have another black source, so they can't play it this turn right now. I'm not too scared of the Bronco right now, because we can just Deserts do it again. The Mercenary probably will be pretty good against the Vault Plunderer, which is awkward. Play the Longhorn. They have a counter? Do they have another This Town Ain't Big Enough? I'll play the Muscle again. Road to Canyon. I'll put the plus one plus oh on the Link Breaker. Just because I think they're going to block with the Vault Plunder. Or block the Vault Plunder. Maybe that's a bad attack. <laughs> now I know it is a bad attack, but... I don't know. Using that to, to keep their 1-1, I feel like, is just fine. They've got more cards, but I've got a lot more just stuff on board right now. Weird. Oh, no. Crazy sequence there. Crazy sequence. Wow. But Desert's Dude does kill the muscle, so I think I just have to kill it while they're tapped out before they can commit any more crimes. Did I duelist? Three, four, five, six. So now they gotta they gotta do some big things. Yep, they <laughs> gain a life. Okay. Hey, we we got the three and three. All right, we're bouncing back out of the shadows. Okay, okay, we're learning how to play this deck now. We're we were on the back foot. Now, as you know, as I like to say on day one, now we're kind of playing with house money. We got the we got the big rewards, getting to three wins. I'm pretty happy with this. This is kind of my level of gameplay. Hopefully throughout the season we'll get better. But this is I think this is a better deck than the the first one that I made, so I'm I'm totally happy. We got all three of our mana colors. Pretty good curve out. I'm okay with this hand. We got the two black, importantly, for murder. Now three black. They link breaker turn one. Uh, Forlorn Flats probably turn two because we don't have a turn two play. That sequence actually does feel pretty nice if you got a one drop in this deck and no two drop to play. So Vault Plunderer this turn. Probably going to plot the Sharpshooter next turn. They have a counter. Okay. Good use of Phantom Interference there. Three Toughness once again. Okay. 
I'll swing in with a Link Breaker. See what they do. Yeah, I didn't think they would. Hmm. So the efficient play is just to, to deal the two here. Would really like a land so we can get a 3-3 and a 5-4 on board next turn. Be feeling really nice if that were the case. I think we might just get outvalued in a blue-white control type matchup. Yeah, <laughs> that'll... Oh boy. So as long as you haven't cast a spell this turn... So we just gotta kind of bide our time, I think, till we can do the murder. Right. Yeah, that's pretty scary. And now they're probably just gonna be doing nothing for a long time. Hmm. Do I go ahead and play the muscle here? Well, the 3-3 th the three does just get in there, so might as well attack. They take it. Perfectly happy with that. So we've got kind of a staring contest, because they probably know that I have removal for Stoic Sphinx. But if they're not playing their cards and I'm attacking, then I'm kind of on the winning side of that. Okay, so now they're attacking. I'll cash in the Link Breaker just so I can make Longhorn big with the mercenary that it makes. So they're on a three turn clock. I have six, so I'm on a potential three turn clock as well. But I'm on the I'm on the faster end of that, which is cool. So I can't play Prickly Pear and Murder. Go ahead and make that a 4-3 four, four, attack. I mean, if they're not going to remove my stuff, then I, I'm perfectly happy <laughs> swinging in there. Blue-white, do they have pump spells? They might do take up the shield, but blue-white control doesn't really seem like the place for that. Yeah. Play some cards, man. I want to destroy the Sphinx. Oh, they're thinking about it. Oh, they got a discard to hand size. That's funny. Yeah, that's a really good top deck. So next turn, so we can just plot it and still keep up the murder. That feels good. Oh no. Well, we can still attack here. Yep. So they saw the dust animus and now they realize that they really, really need to kill something or take something out. Stoic Sphinx. Murder. Whoa. Why did he still attack? This card is bizarre. Is he bugged or something? I'm so confused about that card. Because he, he attacked over something a couple games ago, right? And he still got to attack after the stop cold? Oh, is it because he was still attacking already? Oh, that's, yeah, that's probably why. Hmm. So we got the five lands, so we want to just go ahead and play the Dust Animus here. Now, just a big, beefy guy here. They could have the big 
a final showdown board wipe, that'd be catastrophic, but I I'm cautiously optimistic on where we're at right now. They got a lot of weenies and now I've got lethal in the air if they don't kill it. I don't think I can save it, save the dust animus if they have something to remove with. So that's a little tough. But I do just have big, big things right now. Oh, definitely on top. So they are trying. Yeah, can't be blocked. I'm fine with that trade, I think. Wow, yeah. Probably should have seen that coming. But, I mean, I do get cards back. I think plotting there is still the right choice. Um, so he will probably be unblockable next turn. I'll take one, go down to five. Canyon Crab will probably be beefed up quite a bit, so I want just a lot of prickly pair actions. So we have three blockers here. And then we, we do the song and dance with the Animus again. Ambush Gigapede, not great here. Tough match. So they're going to go up one anyway, so I might as well chump block. Well. Do I value having the 1-1 one, one here? No, I think I just want to preserve life total. That will be even on 5. Tough match. It's a tough game. This is fun magic. <laughs> wow. Loading up. Okay. Okay, okay. Dust Animus. And I think just kind of hope it doesn't die. Hmm. Do we want to bring out the overzealous muscle? I think so, because then we can keep up at least one combat trick. The option, the other option was ambush Gigapede, uh, like save it to flash in on their turn and keep up two Skullduggeries. I guess Skullduggery wouldn't have been bad in a metamorphic blast situation. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Would have liked to get some blocking, like four, four life out of that deal, but oh well. So whenever he deals combat damage to a player, I really don't think I want him to draw a card, right? I'd really rather about draw a card off of that. What are they at? 15? Yeah, we'll just stop them from drawing a card. Unless they want to counter that. That'd be kind of weird. So they have to block the muscle here. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Sure.
so we can four, five, six, seven, so we can Gigapede and Skullduggery, get rid of the Nimble Brigand, I think. If they are attacking, just attacking with the armor deal. Oh, they're attacking with everything? Okay. Yeah. I'll flash in the Gigapede. They're, I mean, they're fully untapped, so they probably have a counter spell. Okay, it sticks. Do I still want to get rid of the Nimble Brigand and use up Last Skullduggery? I think that's probably fine. So interestingly enough, they were playing Take Out the Shield. And they just have an awesome suite of removal spells. I mean, there's just not much I can do about that. I mean, nothing, to be fair. <laughs> nothing I can do about that, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, um... Hmm. Yeah, I'll put it on the 2-2 here. Wait. Exile target creature. Wait, why didn't... What got exiled here? Oh, the Gigapete. Sorry. Oh, uh, sure. Oh. Oh, that was bad. Oh, horrible, horrible block. What a terrible way to lose. Oh, no, I should have read the Armadillo. Dang it. Oh, well. I was probably going to lose that game anyway. There was just too much controlling stuff in that deck. But, hey, how about that? We we uh we hit the three and three. So we've we've done three and three in two of our drafts and we've gone five and three in both. So Rakdos, once again with Dust Animus, does the exact same record. I think this was a better deck. We got to mill somebody out with Laughing Jasper Flint, so that was awesome. Uh Skullduggery was pretty good. There's just a lot of use cases for Skullduggery. Reckless Lackey was fine. I think Link Breaker is probably better than Lackey. Dust Animus was just a really hot target for removal basically all day. Desert's Dew was really good. Didn't really get to play with Faker on Death. Uh, Lively Dirge Impressed. Didn't really do much with Dead Eye Duelist. Maybe picking less in later games. Prickly Parry, you know, people, people have been saying it's really good, but man, I'm just... I don't know. It is, it is two bodies, but... It's really good synergy with Jasper Flint, so I think if you've got like a really, really nice Rakdos game going, I think Prickly Pear is fine. Ball Plunder is awesome, as we know. Uh, Murder, the, the double black pip does mean something. Um, it's not free, for sure. Sharpshooter is awesome. Uh, the big the big creatures actually do did tend to work well in this deck, so I'm I'm actually pretty thrilled with the, the back end of the, the Rakdos. It at least can kind of keep you in the game. Uh, if if a game goes late, which it kind of seems like this this set seems to be doing. So uh, next time, look out for me trying to draft some green because I'm a green player and I haven't been able to draft green and it looks really sweet. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, you got to do a thumbs up for laughing Jasper Flint Mills because that was awesome. Uh, thank you guys. I'll see you later. Farewell, party people.